Hi, Jiro Doers, and welcome to this tutorial about customer payment follow-ups. Here at Bloom, getting our invoices paid is often harder than it should be. Some of our customers have a lengthy and unreliable accounting process and take a while to pay us. We've decided to run weekly follow-ups after ensuring that all bank statements and payments have been reconciled. This way, we're not sending an email or a letter to a customer who's already paid. First, it's important that our payment terms are set up correctly, so be sure to check out the video on payment terms if you haven't already. Now, let's see how to remind our customers to pay us for the excellent work that we do. This way, we can keep our cash flow stable and make sure that we consistently have enough money to pay our suppliers and our employees on time. Let's go into our database where we can check out our follow-up actions by going into accounting, configuration, and follow-up levels. We can see which actions are activated after a specific number of days, and by clicking on any one of them, I can manage the different options. I can choose the number of days. I can choose the type of reminder to be sent, whether that's email, a letter, or SMS. I can choose a template for the message to be used. And we can determine if this follow-up should be sent automatically. In the activity tab, we can even schedule an activity to make sure everything is handled correctly. Now let's go to the follow-up reports under the customer's menu. And we'll remove our filter. And here we can see everything that our customers owe us. So from this page, we can see both the total amount our customers owe and how much is overdue. It looks like one of our customers, Acres Lawn Care, could use a reminder. So we'll click on Acres Lawn Care, and here we get a full overview of this customer and their open invoices with information like their due dates, the expected dates. If the customer tells us when a payment should arrive, we can enter that manually. The date of a next reminder, and we can have other options that we can set, like automated reminders or manual ones, and we can decide to exclude a specific invoice from follow-ups. We can even label each contact as a good, normal, or bad debtor. And it's that easy to follow up on unpaid invoices every day, week, or month. That's all for today from your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next video.